Will there be political fallout to this apparently continually evolving scandal? Do advisors matter to voters? Is lobbyist, admittedly a very boring word, does it become politically exciting when it's paired with a massive freak show of a Wall Street meltdown? Rosa Brooks, columnist for the Los Angeles Times, joins us now. Rosa, thanks for joining us. It's great to be here, Rachel. Looking at this new reporting that Rick Davis's mm -hmm. lobbying firm may have been uh, being paid by Freddie Mac to the tune of $15,000 a month, even after Rick Davis severed his ties and there's this big pushback from the McCain campaign. Do you see this having political resonance or is this complicated stuff about people who are removed from the candidate himself? Uh, I think it has political resonance. I, you know, I think that there are two issues here, both of which might be a little bit disturbing to vote voters trying to make up their minds. Uh, you know, one of it, one of the things that's disturbing is the hypocrisy slash dishonesty piece of this. You know, it's a little bit weird, as, as Michael Isakoff just said, to have the McCain campaign going out and saying, no, no connection to these people, absolutely not, certainly no lobbying, no nothing. Uh, and then it turns out that these payments to Davis's firm were continuing until a month ago. You know, he may not be getting that money going into his personal bank account right now, but this is still his firm. He presumably intends to go back to it at some point. And as you said yourself, you know, in some ways it's even worse if he's not doing any work for it. The money's just piling up, waiting for, you know, it's like, it's like saying, you know, don't pay me. Why don't you just give those payments to my brother over here for a while while I do something else? And I think to be denying it, saying this wasn't happening, uh, you know, it gets very, uh, if I may say so, it's sort of Clinton-esque. It gets into the, depends what the meaning of is is, depends what the meaning of lobby is. It looks pretty yucky, and it's particularly hypocritical looking at a time when the McCain, McCain campaign is trying very, very hard to tar Obama with associations, very, you know, questionable claims about associations, uh, far down the line with Fannie, Ma Fannie, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, uh, while meanwhile the McCain campaign is just lying like crazy about its own much closer links to the very same mortgage giants that are that are part of the root of this whole bet mess that we're right in right now. So that that I think is one of the problems, and and it's only one. The other is the potential conflict of interest issues, the substantive issues, the conflict of interest issues, and then the awkward lying about those issues, or at least but seem, seeming to be uh, caught out on those issues again and again. And again. Yeah. Rosa Brooks, the Los Angeles Times columnist, thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. It's a pleasure. It.